This is just a little thing that I'm doing at uh, midnight. Don't expect this all the time, or maybe do. I'm not very good at planning. But anyway, the Warriors are returning from their road trip. Excited to see their fans again, I'm pretty sure. However, Steph might miss road fans cheering for him, even though they're like Cleveland and Brooklyn, who are like some of the contenders in the East. I mean, maybe not Cleveland, but Cleveland's a fun team. Now, we are facing the Toronto Raptors, who are currently 12th in the East, which is a bloodbath right now, so not not a, not a typical 12th seed, if you know what I'm talking about. They're 8-9, and nine, which isn't bad. They're more like a fun but beatable team. They should give the Warriors some issues, but ultimately the Warriors should probably pick up the win. Now, the main things I'm looking for in this game is uh, how Nick Nurse is going to defend Steph. Is he going to try that box and one crap again against him like he did in the finals? I'm not sure if that works against the Warriors right now. Whatever defensive system Nick Nurse is going to put out against the Warriors is going to really test out this roster. Another thing, can't wait to see Scotty Barnes play live. He's definitely one or two in the Rookie of the Year race, contending with Evan Mobley. I've heard a lot of praise about his mid-range and his defense, and from a watching perspective, that's like two of the best things I want to see. Gary Trent is up to 17 points per game. He's another guy on my radar. He's on my fantasy team, and I want to see him for the first time. Also, I'm interested in seeing OG Anunobi, who's leading the Raptors right now in scoring. Honestly, I wasn't as optimistic as other people on OG Anunobi's improvement on this season, but he's clearly showing that he could take another step. And I'm interested in Pascal Siakam at center. I've heard that he's been running center for the Raptors for a bit now. I want to see how he matches up with Draymond, basically two, two forwards who are fighting each other at center position. Now, I'm looking for a good Steph game. He's well rested after the Cleveland game where he played like a ton of the fourth quarter, but he sat out against the Pistons, so that should freshen his legs up a bit. So did Draymond. So hopefully they stay sharp, even though they had like two days of rest. Now the Raptors seem to have a balanced offense because their highest score is OG Anunobi at 20 points per game. They have 4 players over 15 points per game and Scotty Barnes has 14.9 so basically 5 players over 15 points per game. The definition of a balanced attack. Now last time we faced the Raptors, it was really embarrassing. Getting blown out by 50 or 60, I don't remember particularly, but all I know was that it was without Steph. It felt like one of the lowest points of last season. I'm gonna be honest, it made it very hard to watch the next few games because it was so like it was it was so like not only devastating but embarrassing as well. Like to give a comparison, like the Clippers, I think they got blown out by like 50 points in halftime against the Mavericks. But that was at the beginning of the season and like the Clippers picked it up right after. But this was dead in the middle of the season when the Raptors were killing the Warriors. And I hope that doesn't happen again, but the Raptors, you know, every single year they always seem to have our number, no matter how good we are. But this season might be different. Warriors are first in points and assists, third in rebounding. The Raptors, however, are in the bottom half of those categories at 21st in points and rebounds, and nearly dead last at 28th in assists. Kind of the complete opposite of the Warriors, where the Warriors do nothing but assist. But a good playing team like the Raptors is definitely not a pushover opponent. It's not like the Pistons, not like the Rockets, who might be one of the worst teams of all time. I'm excited to see this. I hope the Warriors can pull it out and become 15-2, and two, but judging by our only two losses, the Raptors are that type of opponent that would make things really bad for the Warriors. Like that Grizzlies slash Hornets slash Raptors category are all kind of the ones that are making the Warriors struggle right now.